Grass Valley Tuesdays. Hi everyone, I'm Kathy Elswick, president of Tasty Blend Foods. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I want to show you guys how to make some peanut butter cookies using our biscuit and more mix. You're just going to need a few things to get started and I went ahead and measured them all out. So we have three quarters cup of peanut butter, one can of sweetened condensed milk, we have one cup of light brown sugar, one egg, two cups of mix, we're going to need a teaspoon of vanilla, a bowl to mix it in, and a pan to put it on. Now the most important part about these peanut butter cookies is to start with your wet ingredients. That way you can get them all combined and you won't have any streaking in your cookies. So we're just going to get the peanut butter down in there first and we'll follow that up with our sweetened condensed milk which just makes everything super delicious and rich and creamy. Then we're going to go ahead and go in with our egg. And we're going to combine all of this really well until it's smooth before we put our sugar and our flour mix on top to fold into this wet mixture. Once we get it nice and smooth, we'll go ahead and dump in our sugar. Remember when you do your sugar, you want to pack that brown sugar in your cup. And then we'll go ahead and put our mix right on top. Now this is going to be very similar. Oh, I almost forgot the vanilla. That'd be all bad. This is going to be very similar to mixing up biscuits. We'll just add our teaspoon here. That won't hurt anything. We want to fold and kind of turn as we do this, which is going to get everything nice and incorporated. Now you'll have to be a little bit patient, um, but it will come together, okay? So you just keep mixing, 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 and once I get all this mixed, we're going to set it in the fridge to chill for about 30 minutes. All right, our cookie dough has been chilling for about 30 minutes in the fridge, and I'm just going to go ahead and spray our sheet pan. And then, I like to use my hands. I'm just gonna grab a chunk of dough and I'm gonna pinch off whatever size cookies that I want. I like just a nice, I don't really even know what you would call this, uh, maybe an inch and a half, two inch ball. Just whatever feels good in my hands, I'll pinch off. And I'll set them about two inches apart on the sheet. I don't really roll them or, or mess with them too much. I just kind of form them a little bit in my hands. Then I'll take a fork and I'll put the little patterns on them and we'll get them in the oven. It's been about 10 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the cookies out of the oven. Now when you're putting these on the pan, if you have trouble with your fork sticking and you're putting the pattern on the top, you can use a little bit of uh, powdered sugar and that'll keep it from sticking or you can just kind of pull it right off with your fingers and that'll help. Also, you can do chocolate chip cookies. All you have to do is substitute the three quarters cup of peanut butter for one cup of chocolate chips. Same instructions, same cook time, and you've got chocolate chip cookies. Serve them up with a glass of milk. You will not be disappointed. Remember that you can find all of these recipes on our website, tastyblend.com, and you can always find us at your local grocer. Look for the big red barn. One last thing, as I always do before I go, Nobody has to know that it came from a mix. Mm -hmm.